Hello, all the viewers. Uh, let's welcome Mahabaleshwar. He got only rank 17 for EC 2018. Uh, Mahabaleshwar, can you give us a quick introduction? Yeah, hello, I'm Mahabaleshwar. I'm basically from Mangalore, and uh, yeah, I joined the Gate Academy on August 2016, and then I wrote the Gate uh, 2018 exam and got a rank of 217. In the EC, so congratulations, Mahabaleshwar. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, who are you in your family? Like little bit. Like. Actually, I have a sister, little sister, and uh, I stay with my parents in Bangalore itself, JP Nagar. Okay, JP. So, uh, what she is doing? Uh, uh, she is currently working in Intel. Uh, oh, great. Yeah, even she did her MTech and wrote Gate, did her MTech, and uh, she is working in Intel. So, what do you feel now? Like uh, 18 months of preparation uh, since you joined August 2016, you wrote Gate 2018, and now getting a rank 217. How are you feeling? Are you on cloud nine? Yeah, I'm feeling really great, and I think all the efforts really paid off. Okay, and can you tell us a little more about like what are the IITs you are looking after uh, since it's an admission process? Yeah, I want to do my MTech in uh, VLSM Microelectronics stream. I have applied for IIC, IIT Madras, Bombay, uh, Kanpur, and Kharagpur. So why VLSI? Like, uh, is it like did you like analog integrated circuit yeah, and EDC too much? Yeah, I enjoyed really analog integrated circuits, and uh, I want to pursue my higher studies in that. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, like, I feel that after M Tech, will you go for PhD as well? Yeah, I want to do PhD, but I don't know. It depends on how my MTech. So because uh, be careful here, right? When you say PhD, it's a five-year plan, right? Yeah. Like exactly. government used to have. Yeah. Uh, and uh, like any particular IT, like you were like, okay, this is my favorite. I want to join. I yeah. know it's difficult to make a choice there, but anyway. I actually really want to join IIT MTech stream, and if I don't make it there, I think I'll I prefer IIT Madras or. or so all plans set, right? Okay, yeah. if you get this. No, yeah. and then I uh, if you're not getting like and go to the uh, IIT Madras. Uh, IIT Madras, I, I had like a, a couple of my friends. Uh, they oh. graduated from there. Okay. It's a good place uh, to study. I say Bangalore. It's in Bangalore only, and so both are good choices. Okay. Uh, so can you uh, can you just tell us a little more about that? Okay, uh, in terms of preparation, in terms of classes. Let's try to give us a more picture on that. Okay. Yeah. Better picture on that. How how did it go for you? Okay. What are the subject that you think that you will take? Okay. Uh, actually, as I told you, I joined the Gate Academy on August 2016. The Gate classes like really help you to like keep your eyes on the goal, and like you can maintain your focus easily and go towards the goal. Even if you like stay away in the between, the classes help you to come back to the path. And yeah, the preparation. Uh, I was preparing continuous, continuously, like at least like uh, two hours or three hours per day from the for the last uh, four or five months. And uh, in the last month, uh, I kind of studied really hard, and then uh, like went over all the subjects again, and then uh, solved previous year question papers, gave mock tests, and all that. And so uh, I think this is the right time to introduce myself as well. So uh, my name is Akash Pushkar, and uh, uh, I taught him like two three subjects while uh, he was yeah. preparing for GATE. And you can say me as a teacher, a mentor, and he is like my mentee. So I have seen him as a consistent student. So what do you okay. feel that uh, being consistent in the class is a really good thing for the preparation? Yeah, it's a really good thing. You want to, because, you want to like, uh, like, yeah. you want to give throw some light on that, like the student who who don't come regularly in class. See, if you What's don't go regularly, as I said, you lose the focus. Once you lose focus, coming back to the path is really difficult. You should never quit in between. So that even if you feel difficult on oh, Sundays, I need to get wake up early, go to the class. You need to do that. So the final goal, I mean the final thing, what you get is much more than the loss of sleep in on Sunday. So here I will uh, take a note of this that all uh, future Gate aspirants, uh, Mahabaleshwar is trying to give a nice suggestion that if you are joining Gate Academy, you should uh, be regular in the class, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. That is what you are trying to say. Okay. Uh, moving further, like, what are the key subject or what are your favorite subject? Uh, well, you have like ten subject, right? Yeah. So, what are the main subject that you like? I like network analysis, 
because it's the basic you need to know that and then analog analog was my favorite actually and then also elect electromagnetic field theory it may be shocking but it's actually a really good subject even that's important in the communication part so just to add uh, his point uh, Network theory is really important because if you don't uh, prepare network theory in a better way, you can't have the hold on the analog integrated circuit. Yeah, exactly. Correct, right? And 50% so, of analog is all, all almost network yeah. and, and that is what we also try to do uh, uh, as a part of strategy. We teach network theory as the first yeah. technical subject. Right? Yeah, I think you exactly. also got it, yeah. uh, network theory as the first subject. Yeah. And what are the other subjects that you feel or is there any sequence in mind that you should do this subject for the good mark because these are scoring subjects. Uh, let's not do uh, a few more subject, a few subjects which which are not very scoring or which are very difficult. What is what what is your opinion on it? Yeah, you better start with as I said networks. Go to analog, complete those two perfectly. Okay. Then you can go to control systems. So and, do you feel control system is scoring? Yeah, it's, it is scoring and it's very makes sense and it's important for all the all engineers to know control systems regardless of the branch. I think so. And yeah. And control systems you need to study, and then digital is very easy just to score. So I want to clarify: digital when you say digital electronics or digital communication? No, no, digital electronics. Communication is actually digital communication is the tougher part of communication. So here, one inf uh, one information I taught them communication system. So what is your take on that? that uh, like in recent year, when I say the when I say uh, uh, recent years, what you feel that what are the changes Gate has done very quietly? Actually, yeah, in the recent past, I think uh, digital communication questions are becoming more and more frequent. And for knowing digital communication, you need to know random processes and also a bit of probability. So I think digital communication becomes hard because the basics of those things are really necessary. So yeah, if you know the I basics, the I think that's it. Because if you are not put in probability and random variables, right, yeah. uh, it will be feel difficult yeah, in random exactly. processes. Okay, any other subject that you feel uh, is scoring? What about signal systems? Yeah, signals and systems, I don't say it's scoring. Okay. The basics are easy, but once you go to Fourier transforms so and... Uh, what topic was like really difficult for you? Like it was really difficult to take a hold on that topic. Any topic that you that comes to I think all mind? the transform parts, the topic seems to be easy, but the questions are a bit tricky. You need to practice and solve a few questions of the topic so that you like you can you'll be able to solve them in the exam. So uh, I feel I also feel that Fourier transform, if you are doing and in a good way, then it might uh, really help you in amplitude modulation, which is part of communication, communication system, right? So whatever, what is your take on aptitude and math, like uh, close to twenty marks, right? Twenty twenty five marks. Uh, weightage of the yeah, gate. Yeah. So how I did you prepare yeah. for aptitude and maths? Yeah, before starting the core electronics, I think it's better to do maths once completely because maths is needed as is said even in analog communication and all the uh, basic core easy subjects maths is required because integration is required, differentiation is required. So I think you need to do maths first. And aptitude is better to solve aptitude questions almost daily, like uh, just a few questions at least. Yeah, just yeah, to keep yeah. your mind fresh. I also suggest the same in I guess in each and every class that you should do maths. You gotta do maths and aptitude every day. At least one hour you should give half an hour of maths. Okay, so moving further, uh, do you really find that uh, gate classes uh, help in terms of tricks and tips, tips and tricks for the solving questions? This is a long cut uh, path. This is a shortcut path. Yeah. Any example that comes to your mind? Actually, uh, there are like a uh, few things like there are some concepts which you can solve in many ways, many different ways. That's no way wrong, but since there is a time constraint in the gate exam, it's better to solve the like know the shorter way to, to answer. Right. So I think like uh, for an example, take uh, network analysis. So when there is a there are two three measures you feel like using kvl in some things but i think sometimes it's better to use kcl or use ohm's law directly and get the answer directly because if you use kcl you will at least take eight to ten minutes and uh, i think kcl and uh, ohm's law you can just get it in almost like uh, half a minute yeah because uh, it's very simple also right uh, in nodal analysis you get one step less yeah. than the message right Mission. because uh, just for the technicality part of this uh, session like if you have three loops, you have to write three equations. But in nodal analysis, you write only two equations. Because mm -hmm. three loops gives you two nodes. Mm -hmm. Let's not get into the technicality here. Uh, okay, so 
tell me about like uh, how the gate academy helped you like be uh, like, be uh, like when you joined what were your expectation those expectation were fulfilled or not what is your take on that see when we join a coaching center we expect that at least uh, they should solve a few questions or like solve questions they should make us understand the concepts and then they should make us like prepare us mentally to uh, go and write the exam so i think gate academy did all that and uh, i think the we understood the concepts clearly very uh, clearly and even uh, akash sir used to give us uh, outlets like the booklets for the problems which he used to solve and that used to help a lot yeah those booklets i call it as modules so yeah, modules. so i'm really glad that you mentioned that those modules were a little uh, helpful uh, in you getting closer to your aim uh what about classes like classes were regular no changes in schedule yeah, last classes month? were uh, pretty regular i think uh, uh never have i received any like, like i went to a class and then it's not there nothing like that very good planning and i think what do you think what is your take on this that how tga the gate academy helped you in getting closer to uh, gate like, yeah in terms of preparation in terms of classes all those six teachers to crack gate uh, we need to like basically understand all the important concepts and then we need to solve a lot of problems uh, and in gate academy during the classes we understood the concepts obviously and then they used to give us modules also to solve the problems even in the class we used to solve a lot of problems so that helped a lot uh, what about teachers like uh, any teachers uh, that you feel that okay and all the teachers who were uh, with you in in the preparation Yeah. What is your take on them? the teachers are really good. I think most of them are like uh, IIT alumni, IIS alumni, and they have a clear idea of what is required for us to crack it. And they also know they have their foundations really set, and they help us to get our foundations right. And uh, uh, teachers like even uh, Akash sir also helped me a lot. And then we have Vijay Manohar sir for analog uh, who helped us a lot. Yeah, the teachers are really good. And uh, like classes, classes were always regular in terms of scheduling. No just in time changes from the uh, operations team. Yeah, the classes were pretty regular. I think uh, I never went to the gate building, gate academy building, and then saw that oh, there is no class. But uh, even if there was any cancellation of class, they would uh, inform us really earlier, like so by SMS or the mail. So on this note, we can thank to the operations team and the academics team for their consistent support. Uh, so anyway, uh, Mabel, uh, Mabel Ishwar, thank you again for coming here. All Thanks, the best sir. for your future endeavor. Yeah.